Shalom, welcome to the Israeli Show. I'm your host, David Sidman, where we take headlines from here in Israel and the Middle East and then make fun of them. In today's top story, responding to allegations of excessive force by security forces in the Gilad farm this week, Defense Minister Ehud Barak said, quote, the government must carry out its authority over its citizens. He was then offered a job by Libyan President Muammar Gaddafi. <laughs> Speaking of Gaddafi quotes, the Libyan dictator stated that, quote, anyone who does not love me does not deserve to live. Coincidentally, that is what I say to the women I stalk. <laughs> In Gaza, Hamas police have ordered male hairdressers to quit working. Hairdressers in Gaza have asked for assistance from the Zohan. <laughs> okay, this story is interesting. Iran is protesting the logo of the 2012 Olympic Games in London, saying the emblem, which costs 400,000 pounds, is racist because it spells the word Zion. Okay. As a response, Iran has presented an alternative, more politically correct logo. Victory for the little people as cable and internet provider HOT was fined 85,000 shekels for misleading customers. They are the first company ever to be fined for implementing their business model. <laughs> Some 1,000 elderly citizens protested on Sunday outside the Prime Minister's office decrying the increase in consumer prices. Once protests got underway, half of them forgot what the heck they were doing there. <laughs> During his visit to Spain last week, President Shimon Peres met with the Real Madrid soccer team. Peres told the players, quote, You are the best peace ambassadors. Victims of soccer hooliganism disagree. <laughs> Professor Chaim Rabinovich of Hebrew University's agriculture faculty said that due to climate change, quote, Israel may have to give up crops like sunflower seeds in favor of wheat. As a response, our team throughout the country have called for a day of rage. <laughs> Germany opened its first new reform synagogue since World War II in the northern city of Hamelm. Let's take a look at the new synagogue. Oh, that was unexpected. Thank you very much for watching this week's edition of The Israeli Show. I'm your host, David Sidman. Shalom and lahitraot.